You're watching Sports Final. Well, tip top of the evening, everybody, and welcome to the first sports final of 2012, or our own little basketball caucus, if you will. Yeah, and uh, tonight, and really for the next couple of weeks, we got tournament action from Northeast Missouri, also Highland and Clopton tipping off with January Madness, plus Marion County Mustangs, Hannibal Pirates in action, as well as girls' highlights from Southeast Iowa and Western Illinois, but... Chris, we start tonight with a thriller in Payson. Indeed, Payson and Pittsfield going at it tonight. Oh, the crowd all amped up for this one, as you would expect. Always a good rivalry. Starts off with Dalton Hoover sending a message defensively. Starts off with Landon Epperson doing the same at the other end for Payson on Dalton Hoover himself. Look at the blocks right there. Everybody getting up to get down tonight. More Epperson. He was a monster tonight. Stealing the early points in this one. Pittsfield trying to come back. Kennedy Cattleman working from the outside. Top of the key. He's true. That is a three. But everything you could do, Landon Epperson can do better. Epperson with the larceny and the lightning at the other end. Wonderful night for that young man. Early on in this game, Pittsfield looking to Dalton Hoover. He's hitting from the outside here, but he got in some foul trouble, and that allowed Payson to get some separation in this game, courtesy of Aaron Edwards with a nice dish to Abram Wiseman for the two right there. Pittsfield trying to fight back from a double-digit deficit. They would do so late in this game, but it's Seth Petty right here working from the wing early to give his team the nice bump right in this one. Payson Seymour, as I mentioned, built a double-digit lead. Pittsfield came all the way back, got within two in this one, as you see Lance Bulick with a nice finish. However, However, Payson Seymour seals the deal at home and gets the big win tonight, winning by two. Final count in this one, 60 to 57. That's actually three points that Payson Seymour won by. Nevertheless, you get the idea. A close one, a fun one tonight out at Payson Seymour. Elsewhere on the night, Camp Point Central, too much for Southeastern. Liberty survives in Triopia tonight, a game they trailed late. The Eagles come back and win by two. It was Illini West burying Sherrard by 10 tonight, courtesy of 20 points from Evan McGaffey. West Central improves to 14 and one on the season, with a big win over Pleasant Hill. North Green, no match for Matthew Kennedy and Griggsville Perry. West Prairie loses to Williamsfield and Macomb. Behind 16 points from Matt Atkinson, beats BPCA 74 to 32. Over in Missouri, Highland Tournament action. First one of the night, South Shelby and Clark County going at it. The winner gets Canton in the championship semifinals. Tim Fisher off to the races early. Nice steal from this young man. Boy, you don't want to let this guy do anything to you. Even the good defense at the other end can't stop him from scoring. More from South Shelby. Andre McClure cleaning up tonight on the offensive glass. He was big, spotting his team an early 4-0 lead. Clark County trying to come back in this one. A first quarter salvo fired by Luke Ross and fired by Luke Ross again. The athletic big man doing some nice finishing early on. Just too much of Tim Fisher, though. You can't leave the kid open. Fisher from distance. He is true, and he is good there. Then more from Tim Fisher, who had 18 of his 20 points in the first half tonight. A 22, actually check that, 23 to 2 run tonight for South Shelby in the second quarter on. It was pretty much the difference in this game as South Shelby advances and wins big time tonight. 61 to 36, your final. Meanwhile, we take you to the late night session. Highland taking on Knox County. Zach Summers' team trying to get some traction, trying to advance to the championship semifinals against the winner of Macon and Palmyra. This is Kellen Gillespie with a nice take early on. Could not complete the three-point play, but that was a tough, tough take for that young man. Late McCabe doing the deed as well. The point guard working around, and no one's just going to guard him, so he's going to take the easy two there. Highland, though, had answers. Lane Sly on the Sly, if you will, with a great take right here. Bucket. Nobody could get any separation in this game. As you will see, more to come right here. Royce Poor, such a good sophomore. Tough take for that young man as he gets it to go right there. Highland just kept answering back in this one. Wes Cramsey working from the top of the key for three. This game went to overtime, but in OT, too much of Royce Poor. Actually, he fouled out with 16 points, but just too much of Knox County, as you see Mr. Poy, Mr. Poor right here. Highland gets the loss tonight. Knox County gets the win in overtime, 56 to 51. Other scores to pass along. Mark Twain loses to uh, Bowling Green, 62 to 53. North Shelby, a loser to Novinger at the Clopton Tournament. Your winners tonight include Louisiana, Northwest Academy over Monroe City, 77 to 33, and Clopton knocking off Confluence Prep. 50 to 26. Also in wrestling, it was Hannibal losing to Moberly 45 to 31. 
one. More boys for you, Marion County boys. Tough night for my man Reed Plunkett, the littlest guy on the floor. Look at this, Harley Stone trying to save the ball in bounds. He's going to knock the Reed Plunkett on his backside. But Reed would have his revenge. End of the first half, that's a 43 for Mr. Plunkett. And then Marion County goes to work. Already up huge in this game, it's Clay Pollard cleaning the offensive glass and cleaning it well right here. The easy two at that point. More to come. This time from the outside, it's Logan Krigbaum coming free and knocking down the three right in front of me. Huge lead at that point. Scotland County trying to do anything to get back into this game. Check out the block right here from Andrew Mathis. Beautiful stuff from that guy. But you know what? Marion County just too tough tonight. The Mustangs get the win tonight, 61 to 30. Ross, the Hannibal Pirates. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the Pirates. Played really just a full 32 minutes here tonight. They got it going early, especially from long range. Check out Praven McBride lining it up right wing. Bang. Doesn't go down much easier than that then later on. Mike Shivers, a great fake pass here on the transition finish, and he'll take it himself the right hand from the left side as he gets the roll to go down. Offense really got the crowd going, but uh, the defense helped a little bit too. Here's Logan Hicks rushing up that left side, reads the pass, swipes it, and scores. Now Hannibal pitching a shutout here for a while. They got off to a great start in that first quarter. You see that 12-0 lead. Then uh, Hicks, he's going to keep it going from uh, just a little bit further out that time from the left baseline, and then he'll just keep it going. Uh, Jay Jones actually gets it on the action. His mid-range game steps up as Hannibal wins it 72-48. to We'll go ahead and take a look at other scores from here tonight. Keokuk knocks off Fairfield 67-33, Galbraith with 18 points, and Central Lee over Cardinals 63-42. to Mark Twain also in this one losing to Bowling Green 49-17. Moving right along, we'll take a look at... Chris, Marion County and the Scotland County girls. Tall order tonight for Jared Hunziker's crew trying to scare up a win in Philadelphia, especially with Kim Shuck on early. She knocked down the triple, and that kind of set the tone for the offense in this one. Then the Tigers dealing with the Red Menace. Jessica Red inside. You can't stop her. Future Truman State star doing work. Story in this game, though, tonight, RLP. Randy Lee Plunkett working the defensive chops right here. Great take for her. Great kiss off the glass. She had 14 points tonight, all about Marion County. Scott and County played well at times in this game, particularly in the first quarter. Just too much of Marion County, which wins tonight 55-24. to Other scores tonight, Unity Girls. Uh, knock off West Central on the road. Big in that one. Also, the Central League girls, winners over Cardinal of Eldon, 75-50. to Ross, Kika girls. Yeah, they got it going. We'll take it up in the second half. Watch Katie Edwardson draw on the defense, and guess who's open? That's Chelsea Dio down low for the easy two. And their defense would actually create some points early on. Fairfield, just really no room to breathe in this one. Chiefs run the two-on-one, two perfection, able to stretch that lead. They went big at home, 65-33 as Molly Martin scores 12 points. And we'll finish off with Quincy High School girls and West Hancock at West Hancock and QHS stretch that lead out early and big credit to this inbound play right here. Taylor Eisenberg is going to find Araya Dade. She brings it all the way in for the and one, but then West Hancock able to answer back as well with a bit of an inside game. J.C. Hartwig the bounce off to Keegan Shacklett, the freshman, a great finish there, but QHS really, as I said, got out front early, did not look back. They win it 77-57. Dade has 15 points on the night. A couple of scores. The Western men win big tonight over South Dakota. Big night for Terrell Parks, who had like four crushing dunks tonight. That guy's just a monster, the Juco transfer. And look at my Missouri Tigers destroying Oklahoma in the Big 12 Conference opener, 87 to 49. That Ross is a laugher as the Tigers go to 14 and 0 for the first time since 1981. Impressive stuff from Mizzou. Looking very good, absolutely. Undefeated this point in the season. No can't, problems with that. Can't beat that deal. Coming up on Friday, we're going to do this again. Big night on Friday. I know we've got Keokuk and West Hancock boys going at it. And also Quincy Notre Dame and Columbia Hickman in boys action as well. Should be a fun one. Nice night, my friend. Absolutely. Let's do it again Friday. We will indeed. We'll see you then, everybody.